Today's subject, so smile. I'm Pastor Jermaine. And I'm Pastor Alicia. And you are watching Lit, Life Inspiration for Today. Praise God. Mm -hmm. You know, Ecclesiastes 3 is one of the most popular passages of Scripture. Yeah. The overall theme, there is a time for everything. Yeah. Verse 4 says, a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Mm -hmm. And it goes on about the different ups and downs of life. Yeah. Our hope today is that we give you a strategy that will help you on purpose live life in the ups yeah. and make sure that the downs don't last any longer than they should. That's good. In Psalms 30, uh, David sheds light on how he approached his tough situations. Right. And I think it's how the life of every believer should look. Right. Verse four says, sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his. So he's talking to saints right, right there. Absolutely. He says, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we forget how good God is. I can believe that. <laughs> sometimes we try to make God like us instead yeah. of reali realizing or remembering yeah. that he made us like him. Yeah. And verse 5 says, for his anger endures but for a moment. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> now, if, if just a few of us would activate that phrase yeah. in our lives, right. but for a moment, yeah. the world would be a totally different place. Wow, that's so true. How much time do we really spend, Pastor Jermaine, being angry mm. or holding on to anger right. as right. people? Yeah, that's good. The, the rest of that verse says, in his favor is life. Mm -hmm. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's so good. That means to me that God did not intend for us to get stuck in the mud with the issues of life. Right. Anger should last but for a moment. A moment. Not grow into a grudge that lasts 20 years <laughs> and causes a family feud yeah. that the next generation picks up and carries on yeah. and nobody even remember why, why it started to begin with. Right. Not that. Right. <laughs> if right. God's anger lasts but for a moment, mm -hmm. that means that if I'm created in his image and yeah. I am, yeah. my anger can last but for a moment also that's good yeah that's that's really good the weeping endures for a night right i mean god intends for us to spend more time in the laughing season than we do in the weeping wow. season can't that's get good. stuck there right. that means that every day that we wake up right there mm. joy is tucked somewhere wow. in the midst of all that muck and mm. all of that junk that mm -hmm. shows up to try to get us off course that's in our good. day that's good. so we just have to find it get it grab a hold of it and hold on to it real tight that's good and that sounds like the stance that david had in verse six yeah who by the way the bible says was a man after god's own heart yeah imagine that right absolutely <laughs> verse six says and in my prosperity yeah. i said i shall never be moved wow. praise god he <laughs> says i will never be moved from this place. Yeah. So you might distract me with an issue or yeah. blindside me with a problem. Mm -hmm. You might get me hot for a moment yeah. and I might even cry a little bit yeah. that night. But right. anger, <laughs> you will not have many of my moments. No. I might give you one moment, yeah. but you won't have another one. Yes. But I am coming right back to this place like yeah. David did. The mm -hmm. place of joy, the place of peace, the place of prosperity. My God. So, smile. That's good. I mean, a <laughs> smile immediately brings hope back onto the scene. That's good. When everything in your life says throw something, mm -hmm. punch a hole in the wall, mm -hmm. you bear down, turn that frown into, you might have to turn it into a grimace to start oh, off with, you know, <laughs> take it step by step. Right. And then eventually turn that grimace into a smile. That's good. And then it's just like, Ah, you know, immediate release that's and good. relief in that's your life. That's good. You know, that's interesting because when you do that, your demeanor totally perks up. Yeah. You know, your thoughts clear up, your yeah. eyes brighten up, yeah. and your perspective shifts. Yeah. There's a reason that the Bible says that laughter does good like a medicine yeah. to your body. Yes. And what could have taken weeks to come out of, mm. you just overcame in seconds. Wow. Wow. By smiling. My God. So this week, your smile is your secret weapon. That's good. When you smile, mm -hmm. you are proclaiming to yourself mm -hmm. and declaring to your problem that you've already moved on from that thing. That's good. Already moved on from the problem and you're now focusing on the solution. That's good. I love that. A life that is lived 
regurgitating the problem will oftentimes lead to a life that's filled with sadness mm -hmm. and regret. Yeah. But when you smile, it is your first defense. Yes. Your smile is your first defense to create a lifestyle and set the precedence where you immediately fast forward past the problem yes. to focusing on the solutions, like yeah. you just said, yeah. that God has already provided. God has already provided the solution in you, and if you just smile. That's it. Smiling brings hope back onto the scene. My God. Great word, Pastor Alicia. Praise God. Thank <laughs> God for his word. Well, thanks again for watching Lift this week. We'll be back next week with another inspiring word, sure to give you the lift that you need to enjoy your week. God bless you. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week.